July 21st, The Doorway to the Kingdom Blessed are the poor in spirit, Matthew 5, verse 3. Beware of thinking of our Lord as only a teacher. If Jesus Christ is only a teacher, then all he can do is frustrate me by setting a standard before me that I cannot attain. What is the point of presenting me with such a lofty ideal if I cannot possibly come close to reaching it? I would be happier if I never knew it. What good is there in telling me to be what I can never be, to be pure in heart, Matthew 5, verse 8, to do more than my duty, or to be completely devoted to God? I must know Jesus Christ as my Savior before his teaching has any meaning for me other than that of a lofty ideal which leads only to despair. But when I am born again by the Spirit of God, I know that Jesus Christ did not only come to teach, he came to make me what he teaches that I should be. The redemption means that Jesus Christ can place within anyone the same nature that ruled his own life, and all the standards God gives us are based on that nature. The teaching of the Sermon on the Mount produces a sense of despair in the natural man, exactly what Jesus means for it to do. As long as we have some self-righteous idea that we can carry out our Lord's teaching, God will allow us to continue until we expose our own ignorance by stumbling over some obstacle in our way. Only then are we willing to come to Him as paupers and receive from Him. Blessed are the poor in spirit. This is the first principle in the kingdom of God. The underlying foundation of Jesus Christ's kingdom is poverty, not possessions, not making decisions for Jesus, but having such a sense of absolute futility that we finally admit, Lord, I cannot even begin to do it. Then Jesus says, Blessed are you, Matthew 5, verse 11. This is the doorway to the kingdom, and yet it takes so long for us to believe that we are actually poor. The knowledge of our own poverty is what brings us to the proper place where Jesus Christ accomplishes his work.